Hi, this is Luke Raymond from Anaxis Security Systems. Today we're going to cover a topic which a lot of customers have been asking. What's the difference between an NVR and a DVR, and why choose one versus the other? Let's take a look. To start with, an NVR and a DVR look pretty much similar. The fronts look identical. But what is the major difference? Well, one of the major differences is that a DVR, a digital video recorder, records analog cameras. Now what do we mean by analog cameras? Analog cameras use a coaxial cable, which has one piece of copper right down the middle. And for the general purpose, they use BNC connectors. BNC connectors are one camera, which is an analog camera, directly to one connector on a recorder itself. Now these BNC connectors are connected to BNC patches on the back of the DVRs. So the DVR, as you can see, can have 4, 8, 16, 32, even 64 BNC connectors. These DVRs are optimized for analog cameras. Some hybrid units can also take a limited number of IP cameras over a Cat5 connector. Now, in this case, the DVR itself can take up to 16 analog cameras and can then broadcast this over the network using a Cat5 cable. But this is designed for analog cameras. Now, on analog HD recorders such as this one, we can get quite high resolutions, up to 5 megapixels generally per camera. But you are limited in that you need one BNC connector from each camera to the DVR itself. Which means you're limited on the number of cameras you can actually record simply by the physicality of the box itself. If you need more than 16 or more than 32 or more than 64 cameras, well you have to put more and more and more machines. You don't have the ability to do a server-based uh, recording such as our archive platform simply because of the physicality of the analog solution. Let's take a look at IP now. IP recorders, as I said, look identical to analog recorders. But there's a major difference, is the IP recorders have Cat5 cables. So each individual camera is connected to the NVR via a Cat5 cable. The Cat5 cables come in here and you can have, you know, 4, 8, 16, 32, or even 64 IP channels, oftentimes directly on the NVR itself. However, if you need more than 64, the advantage of doing IP is that we can actually do something called structured cabling. Well, structured cabling is really simple. Just like the DVR, each NVR can be connected to a network via a Cat5 backbone. The difference is that I can put multiple machines directly into a switch, or I can have multiple mach machines in many different locations over a switch, all communicating together. This is an example of a Cat5 switch. By doing this, I can have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cameras all connected to a massive network, all coming back over a powerful backbone to a, a server. Now these servers, we usually we use uh, VMSs such as our Archive VMS to record potentially hundreds of cameras all to a centralized location. And the ability to have localized recording as well on our NBRs kind of makes it a very powerful solution. There's another reason to uh, do this, uh, to, to choose one over the other, and that's actually sometimes power. So let's take a look at power now. When we're doing analog cameras, there is no power that can come through a BNC connector. So oftentimes we're going to use our power supplies, such as these. Inaxis actually produces our own power supplies here in Canada. Now, our power supplies will power each analog camera individually uh, via an 18.2 usually, or maybe a 16.2, depending on the distance you're doing, and that's how you power the analog cameras themselves. The advantage of IP is that it can do something called power over Ethernet. Well, PoE uses one of the pairs in this Cat5 cable, the same Cat5 cable coming from the NVR itself, to power the camera, so you actually have less cabling to do. You also don't need the addition of a power supply uh, that's external. It's all covered directly via your NVR. So, which one is better? The answer is not which one is better, but rather what you prefer. There are certain intrinsic advantages to analog, such as, you know, low, no latency, no network vulnerability potentials. Uh, but you are limited in the fact that you have to have one, uh, one coax cable from each camera to the NVR, and you have to add a power supply. It's a little bit more added. Advantages of IP are that you can have a massively scalable network. You can have hundreds of cameras coming back to centralized servers using VMSs and take advantage of all the power that a VMS brings to the table, such as redundancy, such as RAID capabilities, such as failover archiving. And the fact that you don't need an extra power supply to power your cameras, kind of a big advantage. So the answer is, which one to use? It's up to the end user. It depends on your application. Here at Anaxis Security Systems, being a worldwide distributor and manufacturer of these products, 
We specialize in this, so please feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to give you a hand in choosing the right solution for your application. Leave your information in the comments below and we'll reach out. Cheers.